a, a lot of this stuff, now you have to understand, we talk about how growing up as a child, growing up, we, we get a lot of unconscious learnings and not even know we have it. You, know, you learn things without even knowing you've learned it, and it's all unconscious. One of the things with this tapping process is learning how to do it all the time. Just always do it. I always just use a gauge. It's just my inner self, my body, how I respond, what you say, the languaging, uh, look, and I just I tap on it right then. That is very, very important to be conscious of it. The cool thing is, as you do this for a while, you don't need to do it as much. Mm -hmm. All right? The problem is when you don't need to do it as much, it's almost like you put it down. So what we want to do is not only tap when the problems are there, but also we can use our tapping to manifest things. Uh, like I said before, we've got the, the different places and ways and areas of tapping. I believe it's over there, is that reflective tapping. So you have your meditative state that you like in the mornings, you may go clean your head. Or you may have in the evenings before you sleep. You know, some of the guys in Abilitat, uh, you know, they, you know, people don't have insomnia. People do insomnia. I mean, you don't have it, you can't show it. But what they'll do is they'll lay in bed and think about things. Worry about things. Be bothered by things. And so one of the things that they started doing is started tapping on themselves at night and then they sleep really, really good. Because there is some, some things that, that, that's unresolved. So you can clean your head before you go to sleep. All right? That's just, just kind of make peace with it. If, and, and of course, uh, not sleeping or waking up when you should be sleeping is a program. So you can address that too. So it's very important to find your places. Um, you, know, you know, tapping in the shower. A lot of people tap in the shower. It's a great place because you're by yourself tapping while you drive. I tap while I drive. In, in the shower. Yeah. So there's lots of places that you can tap. Like my favorite place was driving. When I drove back and forth to work, I'd be tapping on myself. And it doesn't really look so bad, really. I mean, if you stop at a stoplight, three out of four people are picking their nose, and you're the one who's actually just tapping. I mean, it doesn't look so bad. You know? Right? But just don't do both. You'll have spots. Oh. I just made that one up. That's a good one. <laughs> so, so, it, so there's lots of ways of tapping. Tapping is a form of self-love. Tapping is also being mindful. Mindful. You know, when you're doing yoga and you can't do the stretch, there's a lot of, a, a lot of them just tap and they become, uh, it's, they become more flexible, they can do the hold. If you think about it, now, those, there's, there's, there's a few of the Christians in here. Maybe more than that need to be, but I can handle the negative energy. Uh, but, there's nothing but hollow holiness in here. But, but if you think about it, you know, you know, I come from the Bible, I understand it. And it said, Jesus, you know, if you understand back at the time of Jesus, that they lived in a single room house. You know, they all slept on the floor, a single room house. And Jesus said, go into your inner room, close the door, and pray. Where's the inner room? It's in your, inside your head. All right? So if you're spiritual, like, you know, the, the Buddhists and the Hindus and anyone else, you know, and they're, they're trying to meditate and to find nothingness, you know. But if you go inside yourself and you sweep the cobwebs out, which is the unpleasant memories, the stresses, the judgments, the angers, the hurts, and the pain, you will never need to be in a temple because you take your temple with you. And that is the true spiritual walk. If you believe in spirituality, I believe it's just what you call emotional intelligence, 101. Keep your mind clear. So it's very important to do that. And let me tell you something. If you don't, you'll have a tendency to do the same things you've always done before, which didn't work. All right? Does that make sense? So it's very important to take home and do what you need to do. Keep everything working for you. Right? All right? And this is just, this is just being smart. 
And logically, you've already seen why it's important to do that, right? 